Seniors in Tim Zablocki's small engine class at North Dickinson show off the motorized shopping cart they built. This, this cart was designed by these two guys. The, the whole purpose was to take parts that were just laying around and develop something that's a little over the edge out of, uh, uh, <clears throat> out of the ordinary, which is a shopping cart. Debbie Bray was kind enough to donate the shopping cart from uh, Econo Foods. So we just wanted to take the parts that we had laying around the shop, kind of uh, do our own thing and, and make the first motorized uh, shopping cart probably in Dixon County. Uh, kids have a lot of plans to go with this thing, and I, I, I think it's just going to be cooler and cooler the more work they do on it. So uh, I'm pretty proud of these guys. They uh, put a lot of time and effort in there. Uh, do a shopping cart, put an engine on it, then we put the motor on it. Basically put it together. And hopefully get it going pretty good, get the bigger engine on there, and, well, who knows? <laughs> uh, shopping cart. The whole idea is for them, these guys to kind of think out of the box and see what they can right. take, you know? But um, they're on the process of working on the first shopping cart that uh, Jim Drew will be using. <laughs> 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 you know? Which is this, I think that'll be a first in Michigan, you know what I'm saying? These guys did it. Good job, guys. Pretty Excellent. good job. Yeah. You know, start it up. That had to be fun. Yeah, you gotta watch him drive around the parking lot. It's